Hello everyone, uh, and in today's video, we'll go over all the different vanity items and how you can get them. We'll get started with furniture, starting with items that you can find in Forgotten Ruins. We have the cabling chair, the cabling table, and we have the toilet, the water well, and pedestals. You can find pedestals inside of mazes in the Forgotten Ruins. And in both mazes and other areas inside of the Aziz Wilderness. Then the last item you can get from the Forgotten Ruins is the Kaolin Throne. You can find this item inside of the arena spawning the, uh, the shaman boss, Malugas. Next up is the decorative pot and the pedestal, which both you can make inside of a carpet, carpet or table, which you also can make inside of a tin workstation. The bed, which you can make inside of a regular crafting bench, this can be painted. The last two items inside of furniture is the mold pillar and a mold version of the water well, both which you can find inside of a mold dungeon located anywhere inside of an Aziz wilderness biome. The next category is the idols, three of which you can buy from the wandering trader for 500 coins apiece. The skull of the corrupted shaman, which you can craft by using 10 crystal, sh uh, crystal skull shards, which you can get from killing cavelings both in the forgotten ruins, and the Aziz wilderness, the slime oil, which you can get from killing lurch. The mysterious idol, which you can get from killing worm. And then last but not least, is the rainbow egg called the large shining glimmering object, which also can be used to spawn the Aziz boss. Next up is the breakables. For any breakable, you're gonna need a shovel of any type and then just right click on said breakable and you'll get them in your inventory in perfect condition. The first one being the hype growth, the cabling pot. These can look different for every single time you place and replace them. The ancient crates, basically just cabling pots but they will be glowing instead. Again, same thing. They can look different for every single time you place and replace them. The flower vessel, same rule applies to these. They can look different for every single time you place and replace them. The mold vessel, which you can find inside of any single um, mold dungeon, which is located anywhere inside of the Seas Wilderness. Then the last item in the, inside of the breakable category is the regular wooden crate. These can be found inside of the Aziz wilderness as well as the dirt biome around your core. Next up is flooring, starting off with the rug. You can craft this inside of a carpenter's table. The cabling floor tile, which can literally be found everywhere inside of the Forgotten Ruins, the Aziz wilderness, and in multiple mazes. Wood floor, which you can craft inside of a regular workbench. Paintable floor, which you can craft inside of a tin workbench, again, can be painted. Stone floors, which you can craft inside of an iron workbench. Scarlet floor, which you can craft inside of a scarlet workbench. Then the last type of flooring is the woven mat. You can find this in houses and bridges located around, uh, around set pieces around the, the Aziz wilderness. Next up, we have the chests. First one being the regular paintable wooden chest. The larva hive chest, which was shown earlier in the video, how you can get that. You can get it from the, the hive place with the hive mother. The glurch chest, which you can get from killing glurch, the slime boss. The 
gore chests, which you can get from killing gore. The hive mother chest, which you can get from killing the hive mother herself. The ancient chests, which you can find inside of big pyramids. They will usually stand in a middle like this, though I've already gathered this before, which is the only reason I can show you. The mold covered chest, which you can find inside of a mold dungeon. So I have looted most that I've found and I cannot really find any of any or the Titan chest which you can get from killing Azeus. Next up we have light sources. First one being the regular torch, the creative torch, and the campfire, which can rarely be found in set pieces inside of the Forgotten Ruins and set pieces inside of the Aziz wilderness. Next up we have doors and fences. Starting off with the wooden door, craftable inside of the regular workbench, the wood fence gate, craftable inside of the tin workbench, the stone door and the stone fence gate, both craftable inside of the iron workbench, and then lastly, the scarlet fence gate, craftable inside of the scarlet workbench. Next up is bridges. The regular wooden bridge can be made in the regular workbench. The stone bridges can be made inside of, this, uh, of an iron workbench. And then the scarlet bridges can be made inside of a scarlet workbench. And that is every single vanity item except for the figurines. Though if you're interested in getting the figurines, it's as easy as killing their respective bosses and mobs. If you learned anything from the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.